morning. It's quarter to nine. I just left the house. I'm on my way to my pelvic floor physical therapy appointment, which is this morning at nine. I left the baby crying. Oh, my heart. It was not an easy night. She was up at midnight crying and at two, two thirty. Um, I didn't actually have to go in her room at two thirty, but she was just laying in her crib, like groaning. She's so uncomfortable. I just wish those teeth would come out. I can feel one right here and here. I think she's working on two more. So I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. <laughs> and my husband is sleeping right now because he didn't get much sleep either. And the baby is with my mom. So I've got to go to this appointment and then oh, go back home get him, kiss the baby, and then we're going to Orlando for his work Christmas party slash event. And I feel very, I don't know what the right word is. I'm not nervous about leaving her. I'm just worried about leaving her, <laughs> especially on a day like today when she's so upset already. I know she'll be completely fine with my mom. Um, I have no, no worries about that. It's just, I don't want it to be a bad experience for both of them. And I'm kind of afraid she's gonna be grumpy and sad and very clingy all day long. Oh, and it is kind of cold in Florida. It is like in the 50s, which that's pretty cold for Florida. And because my husband's sleeping and he's in our room, which means I can't go grab a jacket. So I have the heat on in the car <laughs> on the way to the appointment. So I don't know, I've already eaten a cookie because you know, it's one of those mornings. I'm gonna see if I can stop when we're on our way to Orlando, stop and get myself a latte. Cause I think I need a little bit extra today to be able to make it. So it's 10.15 now, I just left my PT appointment and ooh, I'm tired. Physical therapy is like, physical therapy like we worked really hard she did some work on the inside um to to help with some of the scar tissue and the um nerve entrapment that's from where I had the granulation tissue removed post-pregnancy or post-birth I should say as well as the tear um from when Nova had to be vacuumed out <laughs> because her heart rate kept dropping so she we did some work there and then we did a lot maybe half an hour or more of like strengthening and flexibility exercises in my hip joints and the outside of my hips and like glutes and hamstrings and quads and all of that. Um, so basically what she was telling me is it's all related to the pelvic floor. So like my glutes, my hamstrings, my quads, um, and my core, my lower core, all of that is attached to your pelvic floor muscle. So when it's not functioning properly, it creates tightness, which can create more pain on top of the scar tissue that's already there. Um, not to mention that I cannot keep my balance for the life of me. Balance has always been a little bit of an issue in my life. <laughs> I like trip over things and fall over easily, but during pregnancy and post pregnancy, like I will fall over just standing. Like I'm so unstable. It's very annoying. <laughs> and like she showed me some exercises that truly like I barely can do because that's how inflexible and weak my hip joints are and the muscles around them so she's gonna write them up I have to order like an exercise ball on Amazon or pick one up at Walmart or something not to like do not to balance on but to basically one of the exercises was you put it up against the wall and I try to like push my knee into it and keep my balance that is so hard for me like I am not in any pain right now, but I can definitely tell you like my hips are, they feel like they have been worked out. Um, and she was explaining to me basically, this is kind of unavoidable, especially with my, the way my body is already. Because of pregnancy, all of your weight is shifted forward. So it pulls your spinal cord or spinal column forward, which pulls your hips kind of forward and then tilts, kind of pushes them back a little bit as well. And so, your hamstrings take over stabilizing you for six months of pregnancy. 
and then afterwards your muscles are all out of whack and you have to specifically like do exercises to bring them back into alignment because otherwise they simply cannot stabilize you um and which is why i can't balance so i really like her so much like just being able to go see her is such a blessing like truly i can't say thank you enough to everyone who made that possible because I, I'm saying this in the podcast as well, which is going to be live tomorrow morning, but I am used to creating safe space for other people, which I try to do in my online community and I try very hard to do in my church, my job as a pastor, to just create a safe space for people to show up and be themselves and talk about their issues. And But I'm the one always doing that work. Um, and I, with her experience someone who provides that safe space for me and it makes me emotional just thinking about it because it's almost like I I don't know what that's like and so to have that is really empowering and really just makes me even more committed <laughs> to making a safe space for other people but like it is such a blessing and a privilege to like be able to see her um, to be able to see someone who takes my concerns seriously and tells me that I'm not crazy, there's nothing wrong with my body, and we can absolutely fix this, and just makes me feel good. Like, I feel empowered, which is a word that I have never used, I don't think ever, when leaving a doctor's office. So... I'm just beyond excited and I'm a little sore <laughs> in my hips and I've got to find time. I'm going to have to talk to with my husband. I've got to find time to be able to do these exercises each day um, so that I can make some progress. Now to go home, snuggle a very sad baby, change, and then I guess we're going to Orlando. My God, do I need a coffee? at a Barnes and Noble and we got some books for Nova. Two Dr. Seuss books. One is The Mini Mice of Mr. Bryce and then one of my personal favorites, There's a Wacket in My Pocket and then a book. We have decided to start a tradition of getting a book on New Year's Eve. So her first New Year's Eve, not New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve. Her first Christmas Eve book will be How to Charm a Llama. I'm so excited. She loves books. It's 11 p.m. We just got home. This is later than I've stayed up in a very long time. Straight to bed for me. I haven't even opened my advent calendar. The baby was totally fine without us, only a tiny bit of fussing. And it was really, really nice to have a break. But it's bedtime for sure. <laughs> 